hot in here. Setting up the camera makes me sweat, man, I tell ya. Hi guys, I hope you all are doing super well. I wanted to quickly do this video, which is an updated skincare routine, even though I only did a skincare routine about six months ago or so, or maybe even less. I wanted to do this again because I have a lot of new products to talk about that I've been really loving, but not only that, I've come to terms with the skin type that I have finally, and so I kind of wanted to make a video talking about vegan, natural skincare for people with acne prone skin. For so long, I was sort of in this state of mind where I didn't want to admit that I get acne. I've always been really embarrassed of my skin, to be honest. I think that's something I've mentioned in many videos before, but I've always been embarrassed of it, especially as I'm getting older now. I'm like, I shouldn't be breaking out anymore. But I also just have to come to terms with the fact that like, some people are just prone to acne, and I personally am. So for those of you who have never watched any of my skincare videos, basically I've had acne since I was a teenager. Now I'm 22, I still get acne, not nearly as bad as I used to, but I still break out. And really what I've realized is I have like super combination skin, um, very dry in some places, oily in other places, and I also get clogged pores really easily, my skin is very sensitive, and I'm prone to breakouts. So I have a lot of products to show you guys, but I kind of want to run through this pretty quickly. If you want to watch some of my other skincare routine videos, you can sort of see the progression of my skin from when I was using pretty much all like acne products that were filled with chemicals and filled with like really harsh ingredients that really fucked up my skin honestly to now where I'm using all vegan all natural products that I'm really happy with for the most part so yeah anyways let's get started on this little journey here I first should talk about my cleanser even though this is not something that I really super love um, I use the Acure Sensitive Skin uh, Cleanser. I think that was my last cleanser I was using. It's a vegan, all-natural cleanser, and I love... I liked it. Well, I didn't love it. I liked it. It was really good at removing my makeup, um, and it was okay, but I never felt like it did anything for my skin. And so I went back to the Burt's Bees Soap Bark and Chamomile Deep Cleansing Cream. And again, this is one of those things that I use. I have actually used this for probably six years of my life. I've used this. Um, not consecutively, but... I've used it for a long time because it doesn't do anything to my skin. It doesn't make me break out. It doesn't make, you know, anything get worse. It just sort of is a cleanser. It's not even that good at taking off makeup. So I don't love this, but I feel like because I've used it for so long, it just is pretty ineffective on my skin. That's just me though. That's just like my experience with it. I think like if you have like troubled skin and you're having a hard time finding things that don't aggravate it, this is awesome. So highly recommend this. Um, for those of you who need something like but again it's not my favorite i'm still on the hunt for like a really good cleanser and i feel like cleansers are something you need to change out more than like once every six years because like try a new brand try a new style because i feel like your skin just adjusts to it and it doesn't it's not effective um for a scrub i use the burt's bees deep uh deep pore scrub with peach and willow bark this is not something i use very often maybe like once every couple months um, I don't feel like a physical exfoliant is really effective on my skin, but I like to do it just every once in a while to like refresh. So after I wash my face, which I tend to do in the shower um, at, at night, I use a toner. And this is a toner I've been using for a while. It's lasted me a really long time. And it's the Thayer's Original Witch Hazel with Aloe Vera. So there's a bunch of different ones that Thayer's has. They have a rose one. They have a lemon one. They have like they have many different types. But the aloe vera one is gentle, so it's for like better for sensitive skin. I use this after my cleanser at night, but I also use it in the morning. And it was like, I do a workout in the morning and then I wash my face. And one day I was like getting off, done with my workout, just splashing some water on my face, clean my face or whatever. And I was like, I wonder if I have dirt on my face after I've slept, like overnight. Because I don't wash my face in the morning. And so I used this on a cotton pad and there was so much shit on my face, I was like, never again am I not using a toner in the morning. So I use this every morning and every night and I love it. It's gentle enough that it doesn't strip your skin, which is awesome. Okay, what do I do after that, you may be wondering. Good question. Um, if I'm gonna use a mask, this is where I use a mask. It's after the toner, after the cleansing. I have two different ones. This is the Acure Brightening Face Mask with Argan Stem Cell and Chlorella. I do like this brand, Acure, and I have one more product to talk about. I really like them because their sensitive skincare range is really, really good. If you have sensitive skin, if you are prone to like breaking out because your products are too harsh, this is a really good brand because it is natural 
and you can buy it now at Whole Foods in Canada. It's a really good company. I really like it. It's super gentle. It's all vegan. It's all not tested on animals and all that stuff. Um, this is good. It's very gentle, which I like. And it's not something I use like if I'm getting a breakout or something. It's something I use to sort of if my skin looks dull or if my skin kind of looks tired, if I haven't been sleeping well, like this is a nice little treat for my skin. Um, yeah, it says it's brightening. It doesn't say it's for acne or anything, so you know. I do sort of, in a way, I avoid products that say they're for acne because from my experience, those products are just so harsh and so full of chemicals that they like, they really just strip your skin. And maybe for a little while, they'll make your skin look better, but over time, like after using all that benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid and everything else I use, like my skin became really thin. And it's a problem because not only do, do my acne scars show more, I feel like when I get a breakout, it's, I don't know, it just, it's harder to get rid of breakouts, I feel like, because of all those products. And I know there's certain areas on my face where the texture of my skin is not the same, literally, completely due to me using a lot of those products. So, something to keep in mind. Obviously, like, there's definitely cases where you need to use an acne solution or whatever like I've used topical acne cream I also was on tetracycline I only took it like I only have one dose of tetracycline I believe it's about a month's worth and if you don't know what tetracycline is it's basically um, acne medication that's supposed to fight the bacteria that forms in your skin from like inside out but it's really bad for you and I know there's other ones that are even like worse um, but tetracycline literally did nothing for me and so I went off of it right away because my mom was like, shit, that's not good for you and all whatever else. So just a side note, that's sort of my history with that stuff. But anyways, one thing I really like for many uses is this product. This is um, bentonite clay actually. Basically, so bentonite clay is like, it's really cool. It does have so many uses and actually when I was having my super bad eczema outbreak, I was using it topically like to apply, literally I would apply like a huge slathering layer of it all over my hands and I would just like sit and let it absorb and get rid of all the nastiness because my hands were so itchy and it really helped with itch. So if you're dealing with eczema, this is something I 100,000% recommend. I just mix it with a little bit of water and I apply it to my face as a mask. I do this once a week. It brings all the blood to your face, like so your face will be bright red after you use it. But don't be concerned, that's just it working. And you really need to let it dry. Um, I would love to do like another video talking about this, like some of my favorite natural products because this is definitely one of them. But don't use it too often. Um, you can really just Google it. You'll find it. Oh, so many amazing things about it. And like I said, not only do I love it on my skin and how it's making my skin look, but it's also an amazing product for eczema psoriasis. So after that, I will apply my serum. And I've been using the Sukin Facial Recovery Serum. This is a really cool serum because it has a lot of greens in it. It has chlorella. It has uh, kale. It has spirulina and parsley with antioxidants and vitamins to restore a healthy glow. I like this because it's really moisturizing and so I don't feel like it's not doing anything for my skin. I really feel like it's evening and like kind of soothing my skin and I also have noticed that my pores do look significantly smaller. So if those are problems that you have, definitely check this out. Again, this isn't a product specifically for acne. If you wanted a, like a serum specifically for acne, this isn't one, but I do like it. It's it's very soothing, and that's more like what I look for when I look for products is like the word soothing or calming, because um, that's what I find works better for my skin. After that, I moisturize, and I have two moisturizers actually. This is another Acure product, one of my all-time favorite products. I discovered this while living in Boston in the dead of winter when I was literally freezing my ass off, and this is so moisturizing. It's the Sensitive Facial Cream with Argan and Sunflower Amino Acids. Highly recommend this. I've already talked about it before, so I'm not even going to go into it. This is another one I've been using recently for summer because it's hot outside. I don't need as much moisture as I do in the winter or fall. And this is the Green Beaver Company Sensitive Aloe Day Cream. And I actually have been using this day and night because with the serum, I find that these two together offer enough moisture that I don't need like a thicker night cream. Definitely in winter, I will be back to the Acure though. Um, but for now, this has been really, really working well. It has aloe vera and green tea. And this is a good brand because it has like nothing shitty in it. It has no petrochemicals. It's vegan, GMO, not tested on animals. Oh, GMO free, sorry. I said GMO like it's genetically modified. No, it's not. Not tested on animals. It's free of silicones. 
artificial fragrances, all this stuff. So it's awesome. On its own, this isn't moisturizing enough for me. So with the serum, it's good. But without that, it's not good enough for me. But yeah, this is great. Um, and then for my under eyes, I've been using the Coco Kind Organic Eye Firming Oil. This is like a combination of avocado and uh, coconut oil, I believe. And I apply this underneath my eyes every night before bed. Uh, I have had a past of getting eczema under my eyes and on my eyelids and so this is really soothing and calming and I haven't really noticed like a difference in like the firmness of my under eyes but I've definitely noticed that the concealer, if I put concealer under my eyes, it goes on a lot smoother, looks a lot nicer and overall like I just find my under eyes look like top notch. So if you do have eczema or psoriasis underneath your eyes or on your face anywhere, I feel like this would be a really good product to just use on it because it's so moisturizing. And you can also use this as an eye makeup remover. I haven't worn eye makeup in like many, 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 many months. So I don't know if it would work, but I'm sure it would. And then finally, I just wanted to quickly mention the Dr. Bronner's um, Pure Castile Soap. This is the baby unscented. I get the unscented because, again, I have sensitive skin. I don't want to irritate it. So I use this to clean my makeup brushes. I also use it to clean my Diva Cup, for those of you who want to know. And this is awesome. And then, final... Final product I want to talk about is this little guy. I posted this on my Instagram story a couple weeks ago, and it's the Glossier Coconut Balm.com. This I keep on me at all times. I have it on my lips right now. Smells like a coconut macaroon, but also, also, it's super moisturizing. And I have had like moments where I have this out and I'm putting it on my lips, and I'm like, oh, I have a really dry patch on my knuckles. And I quickly apply some of it on there too. And it's just awesome. I love it. They have like many different flavors and colors and everything so highly recommend this. Their, their products are also cruelty free so I don't know what that means. Like is it vegan or not? I don't know. Um, my sister was there, she actually bought this for me and she asked them if their products are vegan and they were like to get the vegan like stamp of approval or like the PETA like dancing bunny thing it costs money, it costs a lot of money and, and you would think as successful as Glossier seems to be that they would invest in that but they haven't yet so anyways that's another product. That is everything that I want to share with you guys in this updated skincare routine. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please leave your skincare questions down below or any recommendations for products. Like I said, I'm looking for another cleanser to try. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to go. Patrick, do you want to say bye? Bye. That's it? At least wave. He didn't wave. Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I will see you all soon. Bye.